Now, this all the probability questions that came under that is Nobject 2019. The probabilities that Koju and Ajua will pass an examination are 3 over 4 and 3 over 5, respectively. You are being told to find the probability that I both will fail the examination. Then I, I only Ajua will pass the examination. Clearly, this is independent event. And how do you solve questions like this? Now, from the question, we are being told that the probability that Kojo and Ajua will pass an examination are, so the probability that Kojo will pass, that is P of K, that is 3 over 4, and then the probability that Ajua would also pass, that is 3 over 5. Now, the first one says that find the probability that both will fail. So, probability that both will fail. Now, this is the same as probability of that is K, that is K complement intersection A complement. And this is the same as P of K complement times P of A complement. Why? It is independent event. Now we know our P of K to be 3 over 4. Therefore, P of K complement, that is 1 minus 3 over 4. And this will give us 1 over 4. We also know that probability of A, A passing, that is a your passing is 3 over 5. Therefore, probability of Ajua not passing, that is 1 minus 3 over 5. And this is 2 over 5. Therefore, the probability that both will fail, that is P of K complement intersection A complement. This is P of K complement, which is 1 over 4, times P of A complement, which is what? 2 over 5. Clearly, one will go, two will go into itself one, and two will go here, that is two. So you have one all over 10, two times five, which is 10. That is the first one, that is the first one, first one. This is the first one. The second one, we are being told that only Ajua will pass, so probability that only Ajua Will, will pass. Now, this is the same. It means that if Adra is passing, then Kojo will do what? Will fail. So we have P of A intersection P of K complement. Now, this is the same as P of A times P of K complement. Now, what is P of A? Probability that A is passing, that is 3 over 5. What is the probability that K is not passing, that is Kujo is not passing, that is 1 over 4. And this is 3 times 1, that is 3, 5 times 4, that is 20. Okay, let's see the second question. That is question number 13B. It says that a number is selected a number is selected at random from each of the sets, that's 2, 3, 5, or 6, 7. Find the probability that the sum of the number selected is greater than 9. So question number 13b, we have to create a table. Now, what is the first one, 2, 3, 5? We have two, three, five. And then the other one, two, what do you have? We have four, six, seven. Four, six, seven. We want to find, we want to select a number whereby the sum of these two. So clearly here we have a sum of two and four, sum of two and six, sum of two and seven, sum of three and four. 3 and 6, 3 and 7, 5 and 4, 5 and 6, 5 and 7. The question says that if you find the probability that the sum of the numbers selected is greater 
than 9. Sum of the numbers greater than 9. We can say that let, or suppose, let A be the event that the sum is greater than 9. Okay, let's come out with our set. Sum is greater than 9. What is 2 plus 4? 2 plus 4 is giving us 6. It's less than 9. 2 plus 6, 8. Less than 9. 2 plus 7, it should be greater than 9. Clearly, 3 plus 6, 2 is 9. But then 3 and 7 is 10. So 3 and 7 is part. So 3, 7. Now, 5, 4 is not part. 5, 6, 11. That is also part. And then 5, 7 which is also part. So the event is this. Now we know that probability is norm of event over norm of sample space. The event is a defined occurrence. The sample space, that is the universe or everything that is being talked about. Clearly, the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we know that our probability, probability of A, that is the number of events, 1, 2, 3 all over the sample space, which is 9. And this is just 1 over 3. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe. We have a whole lot of videos that will help you pass your exams with ease.